Okay, please, Furuhashi, I'm begging you. I am begging you at this point. No more number six forms. We, we can't take any more. We cannot take any more number six forms. Welcome everyone, it's Dylan from Class 1A bringing you another My Hero Academia Vigilantes Chapter Breakdown. This week we have Chapter 121, Reinforcements. We kick off the chapter as the bro heroes arrive at the scene. Edshot, Ingenium, Genist, and Aizawa are here to back up Koichi. Even present Mike is here with Mr. Blaster and his Buster Union. Fun fact, they call me and my friends the Buster Union as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so stupid. As Koichi fights to hold on just a little bit longer, all his hometown residents cheer him on. Finally, in their eyes, a true hero fighting a mighty villain. Also, Thomas the Tank Engine is just here too. So the amazing thing here is not everyone cheering on Koichi as the hometown hero, they're cheering on Koichi as the only hero they recognize. They don't recognize Aizawa at all, they just recognize Koichi. He's not just a hero, he's their hero. But with all those cheers, Koichi sees the true damage. This is only making things worse for number 6, who can only look on in pain. So this part goes like really deep at this point, because Koichi doesn't want to be this kind of hero. He doesn't want fame, he doesn't want glory, he wants to save people, he wants to reach people, and everyone cheering him on now, like even though they're holding him in high regard as a hero finally, it's not what he wants, because he's not able to save number 6 here. He just wants to reach out to 6, he wants to be able to bring him back from the brink that he's at, and set him free, but this is just making it worse. And the tragedy here is number six, the whole time wanted to be a hero. Like he's absolutely deranged, he's totally crazy, but like his dream was to be a hero and have the people cheer him on and to be there with him because of all the hell that AFO brought him through. And the worst part of it is he was doing that by trying to mimic Koichi. Like even, a, you know, I think at this point it was like a hundred chapters ago, forever ago. Um, but he mentioned that he actually structured his human face to look like Koichi's. Like he was mimicking Koichi this whole time and he can never live up to what he was being. And even in this moment, the final moments of when he's in his final form, supposedly final form, and he's like big and dastardly and destroy everything, he still can't live up to Koichi. Like all this is just like a super big tragedy. And I just like love all like the references that they're making in on themselves, like to like past chapters and like the dichotomy between these two as actual rivals. It's just really cool. Now even more rage field, we get another form change as number six explodes into many tinier versions of his hot plasma self. <sighs> okay, we have to talk about it. We have to talk about it, guys. Another form. This is like the 18th form that we've gotten. Um, obviously things are dragging on a little bit, which I'll cover at the end. We'll talk about it at the end, but yes, we have another form. This form, it's just like his current form of where he's hot plasma, but now in like little tiny versions. So I assume there's probably like one main entity that's containing his nervous system still, like the one that has his actual like skull and brain in, uh, probably controlling all of these. Like these aren't just like extensions of himself, like in the in, in the fact of like they're, they're, they're actually him replicated. Instead, they are literally just hot plasma beings that he's still controlling. And I think the real tragedy here is that Koichi is about to feel really, really bad because like despite all of his efforts, he was willing to sacrifice himself just to buy time for the heroes. But in this circumstance, him being praised by everyone is actually leading to their downfall of like now, because he was being praised, people can't evacuate out. Number six is getting mad and he's gonna attack them directly. This is definitely not good for the citizens and is not good for Koichi. But backup hasn't stopped yet because we end the chapter with the current number two hero endeavor arriving to the scene. Okay, everyone, this, this is serious. Like this is actually serious. So, I mean, to set the baseline for it, this is old Endeavor. This is a new Endeavor who's trying to be a good guy, who's like trying to make right with the world. This is like, this is old Endeavor. He's that dude. Like he's showing up. He's like literally fight fire with fire kind of guy. Uh, things aren't gonna go so well, I think, uh, for a lot of citizens. Uh, Endeavor has been criticized for the way that he tackles problems throughout his like entire career. So get a little bit nervous for what's about to happen. And also these two have history together. So it wasn't too long ago that number six, when he was attacking, was actually confronted by Endeavor. Uh, he left him with like this scarred face, he was burned all over, and Endeavor didn't catch him in the end. So Endeavor has unfinished business, number six has unfinished business, there's a lot of citizens in the crossfire. We're literally fire versus fire at this point. It can't be good, it just cannot be good. I think things are gonna get much worse before they get better here. 
And so I think that leads us to the end of where we should really talk about what's going on with the series right now, because it is really dragging this fight out. And like, you know, when we were in the chase part of this, like 10 chapters ago or so, I, I was saying, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. They're dragging it out for a reason, which I do think that they are dragging it out for a reason. Uh, I don't think Furuhashi is just doing this just because he doesn't know how to end the series. Horikoshi is overseeing this, so there has to be a plan here. And the unfortunateness is that because of that plan and dragging it out so much has just caused it to kind of not be the best right now. I mean, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying Vigilantes. I love Vigilantes. Vigilantes, it just, it always hits. And like, even chapters like this are really great standalone. Uh, the issue is, is that the entire arc is just being dragged out into infinity. What they really need to do is they just need to wrap this chapter up or wrap the arc up rather in some way and give us some resolution here. I'm not saying like wrap the entire series up already because they are moving in that direction. I think we just need to wrap this fight up. And so what I think the major issue here is, is that it's going to be a detriment on this series pretty soon. So right now it feels kind of bad in the week by week or every two weeks by two weeks. It feels bad just to sit in this fight forever. Um, but I can kind of excuse it because if you go back and you reread it through, it actually goes really quickly and you kind of just like freeze right through this whole fight and it feels really good actually. But if they keep dragging it past this point, then even on the reread, it's going to feel like they're dragging it out, which definitely doesn't hold up really well over time. And I, I don't know, I have a little bit of concerns there, but at the end of the day, Furuhashi and Horikoshi are working together. So I'm hoping that we're going to get a resolution to this that is going to be worth it. And like, honestly, I'm a little nervous for it to end. Like I'm nervous for us to reach the end because I love Koichi so much. He's such a cool character and I'm so glad he's our main character. And Vigilantes is so great that, I don't know, I just kind of don't want it to end. And like ending a series is really hard on like everyone involved. I mean, like the entire crew has to deal with the fact of like their, their, their baby that they've been working on for so long is now gonna leave and you know, go off somewhere and it's gonna live on its own as its own thing. And it's, it's a little scary, right? And it's scary for us because we've grown to love Koichi and Pop and all these characters and Knuckle Duster. And we're gonna have to say goodbye to them pretty soon. And that's tough. I think it's tough on everyone. It's tough on, on the manga artists. It's tough on, on the manga cut actually writing it. And it's tough on us too. Um, so I, I think we should all be preparing a little bit as the series is sort of wrapping up and just like getting, getting our brains in that gear and in, in, in the thoughts for it. So I'm really excited to see how everything actually pulls together and the actual conclusion we get at the end of this because I think it is going to be amazing, but I guess we'll just have to see for that. All right, so what is actually up next? I think we are gonna have some absolutely disastrous moments with Endeavor. Everything he's doing here, I don't think is gonna be good. It's old Endeavor, expect the worst of the worst from him. Things are, like I said before, things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better somebody is gonna get majorly hurt here. But other than that, all we can really hope for is that this fight is going to be wrapping up soon. We're gonna get some sort of conclusion to the series on the way, and hopefully it will all be great. So if you want more My Hero Academia videos, go check out the iceberg that we did right here. Uh, we just dive in and talk about a ton of crazy different things going on in the My Hero series, how it actually might even end. Crazy, crazy stuff. If you want more My Hero, go check it out. Otherwise, please subscribe and I'll see you all next class.